Hey guys, welcome back to Xamarin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to play around with Xamarin Community Toolkit Shadow and along with that we'll be embedding animations inside the shadow and we'll be playing around with heartbeat animations in Xamarin Forms project. So let's get back to the video itself in order to learn. So this is my app, uh, how it looks like. I'll just give my app in my video's description below. You can just get it from there. But before that, at first we have to add Xamarin Community Toolkit. So uh, I have selected uh, pre-release package. Say I mean, Xamarin dot Community Toolkit. So we'll be adding that Xamarin Community Toolkit to all the projects. So these are the three projects that I have as of now. So I'll be adding that uh, in my iOS, Android as well as this shared project. Then our next work is to start our page that is our main page. And uh, this is a very basic UI. You can just play around with your own UI and uh, change some values to use as of your own. So you can see over here we have a grid view which has a frame, a path and as well as a button. So what I have done actually over here is uh, this is a frame. This is a path that is uh, uh, a hot shape path and uh, I have already given uh, you the instruction about how to use shapes uh, in Xamarin Forms project. I'll just uh, give that video in my description below too so that you can just uh, know how to build a path uh, in your Xamarin Forms project. So uh, this is a path uh, using shapes and along with that uh, I have a button you can see over here which uh, clips uh, for starting the uh, animation whenever the button is clicked so this is a frame and which has some text and uh, it is a path and I'll just uh, go around over here so that you can just see how to build a path in our Xamarin Forms project and uh, uh, we have a button uh, which has a click event handler which gets fired whenever uh, it's clicked so uh, let's go to the that CS part where the magic happens. So here uh, you can see we have will not focus on this part as of now, and uh, will not focus on this part as of now, and we'll just focus on what happens whenever the button is clicked. At first, whenever the button is clicked, then we are going to uh, disable that button. That is is enabled equals false, so that uh, the user is not allowed to again hit that button back again to start the animation. So whenever that button is hit then the program goes from line number 25 to 26 where uh, we are going to start a timer every three seconds and task factory will start a new uh, task for that animation so what happens after that so uh, let me just close that so the frame color dot fx that is uh, our frame which has fx is going to be cleared at first then we are going to fade uh, using this line to line of code that is a fading animation that gets started uh, whenever uh, that button is clicked you can see over here there is a fading animation and uh, this is achieved by this two line of code that is one to zero that is uh, of uh, our opacity and we are going to change the opacity values and you can see over here a beautiful fading animations is seen and then we can see over here we have a heart that scales to its uh, value that is like from 0 to times 1.3 that is 1.3 uh, it goes and then again comes back to its normal state and hot scale is defined over here so the hot scale is going to be multiplied to 1.3 and you can just play with those values and uh, increase the speed too so uh, and you can just see over here we have a heartbeat animations and uh, which get scales to its normal position over here uh, and it uh, goes to up to this state and then again comes back to this state then uh, we have a random color generation you can see over here which gets uh, initialized over here and we are going to add our uh, random color to the frame you can see over here we have a frame that colors uh, which colors changes so uh, how to add that color is from our Xamarin commentary tool shadow effect which gets inherited using this namespace. That's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.